The holes in the wall looked like something grabbed that board and pulled it straight out ripping the wood and concrete it was drilled to. Still getting goosebumps remembering it. What's the creepiest or most unexplainable thing you've ever seen that you haven't shared anywhere? When I was about nine, in the 1970s, I was playing football in the street. A bus came along so I jumped up on the pavement. As it passed I noticed my aunt and she smiled and waved to me. When the bus had gone I carried on playing. I went home several hours later to find my aunt had died the previous evening. I was 10 years old riding my bicycle at dusk along the road I lived on which was parallel to a set of railroad tracks. I moved off the road as a car sped by and a beer bottle came sailing at me from the front passenger seat. I could see two young women turned around laughing at me through the back window. I flipped them off, and kept riding. About 30 seconds later, I heard the train slam into them. I got recalled into work and was driving at about 3 a.m. I was in a very rural area in western Washington. As I come around a curve I see a woman in a nightgown on the side of the road looking up at a steep embankment. Just standing there staring away from the road. There are no homes nearby, not for miles. I call 911 and pull over about a minute up the road not knowing what to think. Deputy showed up and couldn't locate anyone and was as dumbfounded as I was. Rescued a blue tick coon hound that had bad anxiety when we left so he had to be crated. Went to the grocery store with wife and two young kids and left the dog in the crate. When we got back, the dog was out of the crate, but the crate was completely closed and latched. There was no apparent way it could have happened. We problem solved it for the entire day and couldn't figure out how he did it. Called him Bloodini after that. His unmatched escape skills continued though. He could open doors. No fence could hold him in, the dog simply climbed fences. We ended up rehoming him for his own safety. He actually wound up as a farm dog which I'm sure was his best home. When I was about 11 or 12 I went with my friend and my younger brother to play football in a park that was in a pretty remote place so there were never many people. Basically three or four people came dressed in Victorian style clothes, set up a box underneath a tree with big branches, tied a rope around it, one of them stood there with this noose around his neck and then his friend kicked the box so he was hanging. They took turns doing this, and we left. Was super weird thinking back to it and I have to check with my brother whenever I think about it to make sure it actually happened. Edit, for people asking, how did they not die, they were taking turns etc. From what I remember, the box mustn't have been particularly high relative to the length of the rope, so there wasn't much of a drop if any. I don't remember how long they were swinging for but I suppose it must have been between 15 seconds to a minute. Then the friends would put the box back for the one hanging to stand on so they could get down, and someone else would take the place. My father died when I was 15. In my freshman year of college, me and my roommate in the dorms were somewhat close, but really had only known each other for a month when the Tilda creepy thing Tilda happened. I hadn't told her much about my childhood, but she knew that my father had passed. One day she woke me up and asked me, did your father use to call you, insert silly childhood nickname here. I hadn't heard that name since I was six or seven. I definitely never told her that he used to call me that, as it was a repressed memory that I hadn't thought about in a long time. Anyway, as it turned out, she had a dream that my father had come to her, and asked her to take care of me, calling me by this silly childhood nickname. It was always difficult for me that my father never saw me graduate high school or start college. But I guess he did, from wherever he is now. Back in 2016 my mother was staying at my place because my father was in the hospital at the time and my apartment was right next to the hospital. One night I had this dream that the landline rings and my mother answers the phone and hears the news that my dad has passed away. She hangs up the phone and tells me that my uncle, a doctor at the hospital my father was in, just gave her the news of my father's passing. I wake up startled. I have a drink of water, and just as I start feeling relieved that this was all just a bad dream. The phone rings and my mom picks it up. 
I was just watching her from a distance noticing the expression on her face noticing the tears that started dripping down her cheek, and she hangs up the phone and tells me that my uncle just told her that my father has passed away. This is the only unexplained thing that ever happened to me and this is the first time I share this with anybody. My friend and I were sleeping in my parents' room one night when she was over and it was probably about 3 a.m. Suddenly we hear a sound like a fart from the corner of the room, and distinctly from this one corner. So I ask my friend if she farted, and of course she says no as it clearly came from that corner. Thinking maybe it's my dogs as they sometimes sleep in my parents' room, I go and check it out but realize they're not in the room with us. Okay, so that's weird I thought, and my friend also said she heard a distinct fart too so we assumed that maybe we both misheard. Then all of a sudden an unknown caller starts ringing my phone and I don't answer because at this point I'm freaked out. After I decline the call I receive a message from an unknown caller with the same area code as the caller who had just called me. The text message is all in Spanish and me and my friend decide to paste the text into Google Translate where it proceeds to say, did you hear that fart? Needless to say we never slept in my parents' room again, and were convinced that we have a Spanish farting ghost in our presence. Edit, no brothers that would have pranked me either. I have a sister but she was as amused as I was when I told her. Freaky stuff. In my mother's house, the basement light would turn on while we were away, and even if it was turned off before we left it, was somehow back on when we got back. Once I went downstairs and was like hey Mr. Ghostman this is not good for the bills could you please chill it with the lights, yes I know it's dark down here okay thanks. Light stayed off. My dorm hall had some weird stuff happen, but one of the weirdest was that I went to the bathroom to wash my face and brush my teeth. The sink was right next to the entrance and as I washed my face, I saw and heard the door open and noticed a figure move to the end of the stalls. I figured a girl had just come in to use the bathroom. I dry off my face and begin brushing my teeth but realized I didn't hear anyone else. I checked each stall and no one was in there. I quickly grabbed my stuff and knocked out. I was in my final year at uni, and I worked as a TAR for a language professor this meant teaching one-hour sessions multiple times a week. I basically lived in the known to be haunted humanities building. One Tuesday after my final class and before my first lesson of the evening, I was in the staff room heating up my crappy microwave dinner. A woman I had never seen before came in, obligatory, oh let me just scooch past ya, and check the time on the coffee machine. Now I found it odd that this university employee came here just to check the time on the coffee machine, you don't have a phone, computer, watch, clock. But who am I and my lean cuisine to judge? She looks at the time on the coffee machine and says. That can't be right. What time is it? Me? Er, uh, it's 5.37. Her? Hum, five minutes fast. Okay. With that she left and although a bit odd, I didn't dwell on the interaction. That is, until one week later, Tuesday evening, I was again heating up my food when she entered, obligatory op let me just scooch past yar and check the time. That can't be right. What time is it? I look at my phone. It is exactly 5.37. I tell her and once again she says, hum five minutes fast. Okay, and leaves. I am deeply unsettled. The microwave dings. I take my lean cuisine and quickly head upstairs. Never saw that woman again. It's been almost 10 years and I still don't have anything that's somewhat close to an explanation of what happened then. My bestie and I were sleeping over at her grandma's house and enjoying the newly renovated attic as it was supposed to become her little teenager apartment. All new furniture with a huge comfy couch and nice clean boards screwed to the wall, all in white pink. The sleepover went just like you would imagine it with two 15-year-old girls painting nails watching DVDs and talking about the hottest gossip at school. It was already like 3 a.m. when we decided to go get some sleep and left the room to sleep in the bed next door. Only a few minutes later we heard a little scratching sound followed by a loud bang clearly coming from the room we just left. One of the boards that was screwed to the wall was lying on the floor. Almost four meters away from where it was supposed to be. Not like a screw broke and it fell, nope, solid four meters away from that wall. 
almost 2 cm deep hole in the ground where the board was laying. The holes in the wall looked like something grabbed that board and pulled it straight out ripping the wood and concrete it was drilled to. Still getting goosebumps remembering it. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.